Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to quickly create a dynamic chart. So let's say for this example, we want to have a drop down that selects a chart based on our choice. So here I can drop down and select, oh maybe I want to see the shirts chart, and I want to see the, or I want to see the shoes chart, or maybe I just want to see sh shirts and pants. And then if I want to select that, click OK, we only have two charts show. In essence, this is basically a hack, and what it is, is we're just filtering based on this filter it will show or hide the chart that is in the whole worksheet so if I select it all I just go in and unfiltered everything you would see that all three charts here so this is a tip I actually got from chanu.org site it's a very good site for Excel information and I'll show you how to create something like this uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and go back here to look at the table where I got these charts, and I'm going to go ahead and copy it onto another sheet. So select that, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. And what I'm going to do is create the charts one by one. I'm just going to select this first two, this first two rows, and look at the shirts data and create a chart there first. I'm going to go ahead and insert, select that insert column chart here and we have our shirts chart here. So I'm going to adjust some of the things in this chart and get rid of the legend here select that press delete get rid of these grid lines select those and press delete and I'm gonna resize this and, and instead of resizing it based on these handles here resizing it like that I'm gonna just go ahead and go into format and give it a nice little easy to remember size maybe 1.5 and no that's not too good so what I'm gonna do is um, maybe a better way to do it is to control Z to undo undo that I'm going to go ahead and select the chart and go into format and select this. This is the dialog box launcher. It's going to open up the format chart area window. And I'm just going to click lock aspect ratio. I'm going to reduce this down to about 50%. Click 50% and click close and you see it's a little bit smaller. Just perfect. And you can see here it's 1.151 and 2.5. And so that is a good size for what I want to look at. And I'm going to put it over here. And what I'm going to do now is make a copy of this particular chart. I've done all the formatting that I need. I'm going to make a copy it. I'm going to basically duplicate it. And you can do that by pressing Control D to duplicate. And since I want to do one for pants, that would be the pants one, and do Control D to duplicate another one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the second chart here. I'm going to select here C, and now when I selected the series data, it kind of highlighted the table data here, and it looks it's looking at the shirts row. What I can actually do is that I can move this down, and it will look at pants, and I can move this down, and it's going to bring in the pants data. Same here, I can do it here. I can select that, but instead of selecting the individual, if I selected this uh, plotting area, it's going to once I move one of them, it's going to move both of them. So I'm going to move that down to shoes. You can see now the shoes data is picked up. I'm going to change the color here too. Let me make this one right click and change that to orange and maybe make this one, uh, let's say, make this one green. Yeah, this green looks good. All right, so now I've got shirts, pants, and shoes. So here's the charts that I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is go into my next sheet and prepare the area where it's going to do the dynamic uh, filtering. So I'm going to use, click, I'm going to use basically four cells first cell is going to be where the drop down is going to be. So here I'm going to say select option. All right, and then let me go ahead and double click this to make it fit here. First one is shirts, and the second one is pants, and then the third one is shoes. So what I can do here is I can select these four cells, and I'm going to go ahead and create a filter. Go under the edit group and go under filter here. So now if I click the drop down here, I'm going to select pants. Pants is the only one that's going to show up here. All right. So let me go ahead and deselect, clear that filter. Oops. Or just uh, yeah, clear that filter. And let me double click just to make it a little bit bigger. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to fit this out a little bit bigger. So because I'm going to bring in this first chart, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. And I'm going to bring it here to take a look and see how much room I need to bring that down. So what you'll notice is if, if I, once I bring in the chart and then I move this, this, the row height, it's going to adjust this chart, which I don't want to happen. Let me control Z to undo that. So what I want to do is make sure that this chart is not 
uh, something that would adjust based on the movement of the cell. So I go into Format Chart Area, and I go into Properties, and click this radio button. Don't move or size with the cells, and click Close. So once I move it, you can see nothing has changed. Let me Control Z to undo that. Now I can adjust the rows to kind of fit it in here. So let me kind of fit it in here. Let's see, that looks like it kind of fits. And let me move this chart here to make sure it fits into that corner there. I can press the Alt key and kind of move it. And what it's going to do is it's kind of going to snap into that, snap into place of the cell. So you can see that it's kind of, it's kind of fit in a little bit. Let me press the Alt and kind of move it in a little bit more. So you can see it's kind of fit in. And let me move this a little bit more up here. All right, you can see that's fit in. So the row height is perfect. Let me adjust the column width now. So the column width is a little bit easier now since I've kind of adjusted it. And so let me move that over there. And it looks like it fit just nicely. So I don't want to have to go through and adjust this carefully every time. What I want to do now is make right click here and look at the row height. The row height is 108.75. Just Control C to copy that and cancel that. And I want to make these two the same. All right? So I select those, select the row height, and Control V to paste that in. So what it's done now is basically it's adjusted the sizes. So I can go back and Control C, select that, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste, and press the Alt key and kind of snap this into the grid here. And let me go down for to shoes, and go back into this particular tab, Control C to copy, whoops, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste, and press the Alt key and kind of snap it in the grid here. I'll just make this view a little smaller. All right, and so I'll bring this down a little bit. And now, under Select Options, if I go select just pants, it would just show pants. If I select shirts, it would just show shirts. And if I select, maybe I want to select pants and shirts, and it would just select those two. So this is kind of a hack. It's a quick way to create a dynamic chart uh, by using the filtering feature of Excel. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.